Her family only thinks she brawling for In the streets, girl They put respect on your name like you rapping Burr Gang And that is all I need, girl You just the kind I like You work your nine to five, then you head straight to OT, girl You not a rat, you just share common facts That you both like to chase down the cheese, girl You keep your nails Hey you guys, welcome to Cooking with Gigi. Today I'm gonna do some screwers and probably like some mashed potatoes and salad on the side, but I'm definitely gonna bust these screwers down. I had some leftover chicken strip breast, raw chicken strip breast, and right now we're just doing a marinade. This is gonna be a real instant marinade, so I'm gonna use bold flavors because I want to hit the chicken and, and do his work. So far we got some Goya Salzon. Um, this is the particular one that I use from this box. I don't, I see the other ones, but I just like this one because it tastes good to me. It just, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. And we're going to, that's just one pack. Okay. And just some, you already know, onion powder. I just got some onion powder. I ran out of that too. I was like, what? Onion, uh, garlic powder. Okay, this is gonna be, oh yeah, and some cumin. Just a little bit, I like that smoke taste inside of the cumin. And of course my parsley. I'm gonna take this off. And we're just gonna make, we're gonna throw this meat in here. Oh, we're gonna shake up my number one favorite marinade sauce, and that's Italian dressing. And it's very bold, and some lemon juice. Hold on, you guys, hold on. As much as you want. You want it, I want my sauce, my marinade to be kind of thick, so. I'm not going to make it too loose. If you want it looser, just add more liquids and more uh, of the Italian dressing, okay? It smells good. It has a real zesty smell. I love zesty taste, zesty flavors. I was going to say, I was gonna say some ghetto. But anyways, I love zesty flavors. Look at that. It's full of flavor. It's just full flavor so we're gonna start off by just dropping these little strips of chicken here I had no, nothing else to do with them because I'm like I had I bought it like that and um, I made a pasta dish with it my creamy chicken pasta dish I made it with this so it was perfect but then I'm looking at it now I'm like what in the heck I'm gonna do with it I can make chicken tacos you know what I mean but I was just like, I don't know. I didn't want to waste it. So, I'm going to take this spoon and twirl it around it so we can get the seasonings all into the meat. Chicken breasts are the best to marinate, you guys, because it immediately takes effect. Like, it doesn't take time. You can wait, unless it's dark meat. But you can wait the whole next 24 hours, all that. You know, I do that kind of stuff like from cooking and I'm showing out for some folks and I'm just really trying to really do it big. But um, in this case, we're just going to let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. And um, we're going to throw this on the George Foreman, honey. Make sure it's all in there. Don't be, if you know. I know you guys like, where are nails go? Them nails. It got serious in these streets over here, these cooking streets. I said, oh, I like this cooking. I mean, I always did, but it's getting deep, you know, like, uh, uh let me take these nails off so I can really handle this meat. So, okay, look, that's sitting. It is, it's fully salted because we got the uh, zesty Italian lemon juice and, of course, that uh, Goya. 
So that's enough for now. You don't want it too salty. I think this is enough. It looks really tasty. And let's get this grill going. I'm going to let that marinate and clean the grill. By that time, it should be nice. Okay, we're going to start screwing these. I know you like how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go the long way like this. We're not going to do bell peppers and onions. I was thinking about doing that, but we're not going to do it. Okay, you guys? You just want it like that. You just want to, you know, I might. No. With the long ones like this, you can do like a sewing effect like that and then just smush them down and i think that's how i'm gonna carry on and i'll show you guys how it looks Long ones i just want to show you guys i'm gonna do like a sewing type of thing like your first time sewing just loop it real close because it's too long see this one's trying to be silly but and you just push them down okay Another long strangly piece like that, definitely you want to do it real close. Don't get too far from the, you know, kind of stuff it. Push it down. Okay, we got a hot grill. We got some uh, virgin olive oil. I'm going to whisk across the grill, okay? Just gonna flatten these things out. Oops. Turn them pointy side, whatever side that you can keep holding on to that. We want to turn it in this direction. We just let these pretty much cook. Cook for at least about five minutes on each side. Um, it's breast meat, so it shouldn't take that long, you guys. And that's what I like about this dish. It's very quick. Let's zoom in on it. Looks good. Um, with this dish, it's very quick. You're not gonna have your house burning up hot. It's tasty, it's fun to make, and easy to make. So all of those are good qualities for a typical summer dish, okay, you guys? That's what you're, you're looking for, okay? You want something that's zesty, tasting, you know, tasting just good taste, quick, fun. You wanna, you know, get zip it in, zip it out, and get full, go sit down somewhere, okay? Look what we have here. Look at that meat. It's so tender, you guys. I'm just gonna flip it. It's almost about done. I don't like closing it because it's it like skeets all the juice out, but I'm gonna close it because I want it to be cooked and grilled on both sides. Those okay. babies. Fire and desire. And there you guys have it. I got my mashed potatoes. Y'all see that smoke? You see that smoke? Yeah, I see it. Mashed potatoes. I just did some instant microwavable. Slapped some butter on there. You know how I do it. Made me a nice quick sauce. I mean sauce. Toss salad. Chopped up some um, some cucumber, tomatoes, and some romaine lettuce. Threw it together. And here we have my... Uh, oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> my screwers. Okay? And they are delicious. It's a healthy meal. It's balanced. If I can't go all the way healthy, I at least try to keep it balanced for you guys or even for myself, y'all. Um, 
and that was it. Only I got this meal done in like uh, no more than 30 minutes preparation, including 30 minutes. With all of that being said, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in to Gigi's Cooking. Thank you guys. God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about me. And while you're subscribing, I almost forgot, make sure you hit, hit the little bell on the right-hand side so you can get it. Get my videos fresh when I push them out the oven. Smoking hot, okay? Okay. Don't forget to um, leave a comment if you, you, you know, leave a comment. Thumbs me up, you guys. And please share my videos. Share them. This is a nice, quick little tip. Summer booming, banging, bam, dot com dish, okay? With all of that being said, without further ado, goodbye, you guys. I love you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you.